Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 reasons why you should go on a yoga retreat. So my plan is to just go throughout my normal day. It's Wednesday, I teach a couple of classes. I'm going to take a class and then just get some things done around my house, check in every once in a while and then give you a different reason as to why I'm passionate about yoga retreats, why I love to lead them, and why I think it's awesome for you to attend a yoga retreat. If you're interested in my top 10 reasons for attending a yoga retreat, then just keep watching. Mm -hmm. And I figure I'll just do it this way, sharing throughout my day, so it's more like visually interesting for you. That way you have a sneak and a sneak and peek I literally just woke up. A sneak peek into my day as I'm sharing with you my top 10 reasons. I'm going to be enjoying a celery, lemon, and ginger juice that Kevin made for me this morning. Reason number one for attending a yoga retreat is the amazing sense of community that you feel throughout the duration of the trip. Whether it's a shorter weekend, three days, four days, or it's a full on like seven to eight day yoga retreat, you establish an amazing sense of community with like-minded people. And with that, who knows, if you're traveling alone, you might find a future travel buddy, which is pretty amazing because I have seen that develop and flourish with retreats that I've led in the past. Ooh, Kevin, you did good. That's a good juice. That's good. Reason number two for going on a yoga retreat is you get to meet new people. And whether you decide to go on the yoga retreat solo or you're traveling with a partner or a group of people, not only do people sign up from yoga community that you're in, but then people from sometimes all over the country, sometimes out of country. And so it's really cool because you get to meet new people across the board, which I really appreciate. If you do want to travel alone, but you never have before, it's really great because you're ultimately meeting up with a group on the other end of things so if you were interested in traveling alone but you've been like a little bit nervous or a little bit hesitant in past opportunities at the very least the end game is that you are meeting up with a big group of people so that's pretty great if you did want to travel alone there's plenty of alone time and if you were traveling with a group of people there's plenty of time for you to kind of like go off and do your things explore all that good stuff meeting new people is reason number two for going on a yoga retreat oh that is fresh Hey, we're making improvements. Dressed and ready. Well, almost ready to go because it's cold and I don't have full pants on. Reason number three to go on a yoga retreat is the, what's the word? Is speciality, is speciality even a word? Reason number three is practicing and meditating with the same group of people every day. It ultimately is a sacred space. It's a sacred group. And there is something really powerful about coming to that group every morning to practice, to meditate, and then regrouping at the end of the day. Something that we're not necessarily used to when we're at home. We show up for practice, we have our 60 minutes, 75 minutes, and then peace out, see you later, we're on our way with our day. Reason number three is practicing and meditating with the same group of amazing people every day. It's funny because even though all my clothes are here, still ending up with <laughs> Kevin's sweatshirt on. Whoops. Ugh. Reason number four, eating your meals together. So much love that you have three opportunities every day to sit down and eat together. So Morris, just so you don't think I'm talking to you, I'm talking to the camera, just so you're not overwhelmed. Okay, reason number five, you get to go somewhere new and you have the wild card of traveling. Often when we go on these retreats, there's different modalities of our travels. The retreat that we're co-leading to Greece in June, we have a flight into Athens and then to the island of Amorgos, we have a ferry. And I myself have never been on a ferry, so I'm super excited to do that. I'm headed over to Oak Park right now to actually take a class and practice. Reason number five, you get to try out different ways of traveling, think planes, trains and automobiles I mean we're just moving right along reason number six it's a vacation where you have free time now bear with me on this one sometimes you go on vacations and you're filling up literally every minute of every day 
stay in the frame. <laughs> and with our yoga retreats, yes, we do plan an amazing schedule for you, but you actually have the gift of time to rest and relax. So that's reason number six, free time. You come back from your vacation feeling rejuvenated as opposed to returning from vacation and you're like, wow, I could really use a vacation from the vacation I just had. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So you can kind of figure out the angle there. Number seven, and I have a celebrity shot with me, Hello. Mason. Guest. Yeah, guest little, appearance. little guest shot. We just took class together. Number seven is getting to try something new and exciting. Yes. Whether or not you've been on retreats before, this is your first retreat, you get something new every time. Yeah, because every retreat is totally unique. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you've been on a bunch of retreats and you've totally. never experienced this retreat. If you're brand new, well, then you're definitely in for a new experience. <laughs> you're in for a brand new yeah. wave. Brand yeah. new wave. Number seven for going on yoga retreats. Thank you, Mason. Yeah, my Yay. pleasure. Thank you. We also you. just want to do like a little, how would you say, brief interruption to our top tenor. I'm just so grateful for my yoga practice. Every time I can take class, nothing in my life makes me feel as calm and as grounded and confident in my body and my own breath. It's just, it's truly, it is such a gift. Side note, I felt like that was worth sharing just because I'm feeling really good after taking class. So anyways, on to our next reason. For number eight, I'm at Graham's right now. She made some stuffed tomatoes with couscous. While I'm eating my lunch, I figured I'd jump into number eight with you. Do you wanna come in the frame? Hi. Hi, Graham. Number eight reason to go on a yoga retreat is because you can deepen your relationship with your yoga instructor, as opposed to when you're on short-term scale. You might take their classes once a week, twice a week, every day, but outside of that kind of brief interaction, you get to spend a week or eight, 10 days, however long your retreat is, and you get to spend time with them, get to know them a little bit better. At really beautiful places too. Better, yes, at beautiful places too. Being with like-minded people, but you get to nourish your connections again with somebody that you practice with all the time. It sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm gonna eat some lunch and then we'll see you for number nine. Reason number nine for going on a yoga retreat is mindful eating. While I'm cooking dinner, I thought that this would be appropriate to share. Let me not burn the pine nuts. Oh yeah, those are perfect. A huge benefit is getting to try new food and your food is prepared for you, which is amazing. Because you're fueling your body with fantastic nourishment. Depending on where the retreat is, generally your food is provided for you and it's mindfully prepared, healthy food options. And whether or not you do try to eat healthy at home, it's a great way to incorporate that. Oh, incorporate that into your lifestyle. Building on your daily yoga practice, your daily meditation practice, then nourishing your body with healthy food so that you feel alive and connected and really good in the physical framework. That is number nine, a mindful, healthy eating. As I right now, I'm cooking a little zucchini and potato ratatouille. Stay tuned for 10 out of 10. We are just like moving and grooving through the day. Here we go to number 10. I needed a little snack. And I'll tell you what, there's a zucchini in here. And when I tasted it, I'm like, you literally would never know it. So instead of using a banana, I used a zucchini. I was like, let's just see how she goes. She went well. Our 10th and final reason, or is it the final reason, is to feel refreshed by the end of your time spent on the retreat. And in order to feel refreshed, you really have to set, say, goals at the beginning or set yourself up to succeed at the beginning. So you want to think, I'm going to be eating mindfully, I'm going to be hydrating intentionally, I'm practicing daily, I'm either developing or reinforcing a seated practice, so your meditation. And with the combination of all of those entities, ultimately by the end of your time, by the end of your retreat, you feel refreshed, you feel more grounded in who you are and how you want to feel in your day-to-day -day life. So then you can take what you were practicing or the habits that you were developing on your yoga retreat, you take them home. So that way you can feel that way week to week, day to day, when you're on your normal, say, routine. Reason 10 is to feel refreshed, develop some new habits that are helpful and healthy, and you can take those habits with you when you go home. And hopefully you feel inspired and refreshed by the end of your retreat. Lacey is rubbing her face against the table that the camera is uh, standing on right now. And a little sneaky sneak. I have an 11th little tip for you, so just stay tuned. Sneaky number 11 little bonus material brought us into a new morning, a new day, 
more sleepy eyes. Number 11, I felt like, how did I miss this one? So I had to include it. It's so echoey, new studio. When you're on a yoga retreat, you can expect specialty workshops and specialty classes tailored to your specific wants and needs. So whether you're looking to enhance your vinyasa practice or your back bend practice, work on your inversions, your arm balances, things of that nature, you can expect that that can happen and that will happen while on a yoga retreat. There's some quality time spent on that. That is our little sneaky, bonus material number 11 all right you guys so that's all that i have for you today so 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 buttons on your underwear if you guys enjoyed this video learned a little something new and intrigued about yoga retreats then please like and subscribe to my channel i upload videos once a week i do have to change my little outro because i've been saying thursday and i haven't really been uploading on thursday i upload videos once a week, one video a week, do the best that I can. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. See you guys soon.